Uh, Black Myth Wukong demo, no commentary. Sounds good to me. Whoa, 50 minutes, brother. Brother, 50 minutes? Is this really 50 minutes long? Holy shit. In Forest of K's? Might skip ahead for some things, but I do definitely want to see what this looks like. Whoa, the camera already has problems. Okay. All right. Let's wait, wait, wait for it to get in. This don't, this don't get critical just yet. <laughs> Suddenly not 4K, right? That is a loud ass owl. Cool. Yeah, it's an actual game. It is an actual game. I might want something more concentrated. You know, hold on a second. I need something a bit more focused. Let's, let's look at the IGN video. That might actually be better. Since Black Myth Wukong released its first trailer oh, cool three boss. years ago, every year on August 20th, the developer Game Science has shown something new about the development progress of the game. Right. However, what's different this year is that we finally got to play it. My 45-minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. It's worth noting that after the event, the dev team made some adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions received during the closed door evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Cologne. Hmm, interesting. So Gamescom stuff is already going down right now. Due to time limitations, this trial version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a set of skills and equipment that will Damn, be look obtained at that creepy in the mid-game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, the protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three different postures, including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Interesting. Furthermore, spells such as immobilize, stone solid. I wonder if that's as dynamic as Neo's system, right? Because Neo stances are pretty similar. At least it sounds like that at the start. But Ring of Fire and the Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transformation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions for in-game use. It's important to note that these configurations may vary slightly depending on the different stages. The first boss is named Centipede Gwai, and it appeared in the first 13-minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. That thing is creepy as shit looking. Um... Oh, I don't know if they've actually said this about the game and how it how it works, because I think all of us were anticipating it was going to be a DMC like, but just like no shit, just based on the interface and the way the camera works, the game already looks like it's a Souls like. So I, I do not know if that is a con if if there is confirmation of the game being a Souls like in some way, but immediately it's coming across as a souls like this time it awaits players in a horrible cave its attack methods include rolling and heavy punches as well as the ability to release poisonous gas this gas inflicts a they did say that okay well there you go effect on the protagonist causing gradual health loss which can only be cured by consuming antidote potions right However, that's this normal boss is considered relatively easy overall in terms of difficulty for this trial version after becoming familiar with its attack patterns most players should be able to defeat it easily the second boss is the macaque chief as seen in the snow mountain of the 2021 this is cool looking. trailer this, this time, is badass looking god damn the sequence just as it but the video is running at 30. No, it is running at 60. Oh shit. So the frame rate is all over the place, unfortunately. Was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow covered This is terrain definitely not 60. affect the accumulation of snow in real time. This battle also holds a secret. If the macaque chief's health is reduced to half within a certain time, 
it triggers his second phase. To encounter the monkey with wings, the protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. In this state, the monkey's aggression, attack range, and attack patterns all increase significantly. It gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player, making for a thrilling and intense encounter. Hmm. The third boss is the Tiger Vanguard, who appeared in the 2022 trailer. Whoa! This time, the Tiger Damn, Tony Vanguard the Tiger is effing pissed. challenges in a blood pool in a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone Eat these frosted solid flakes, skill to bitch. the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him using this skill during the battle. One highlight of this scene the, is how the war One thing I got to say about the game, it's got some great spectacle, right? It really does have a good sense of like scale and movability to it. Which is good. Like, I, I, immediately, I do want to play it. It looks like something that is, like, genuinely... This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully it doesn't, like, play like butt if, if we play and it just feels really bad. It looks like something I actively want to try. Water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three bosses. Cool. Damn, the Not animations look fantastic on the bosses. physical and spell-based attack abilities, but his combo attacks also deal substantial damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. The chapter experience provided during the Hangzhou event that I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the in-game footage shown in the 20... Damn, that run is crazy slow. Trailer. Holy shit. This is a relatively... Let the monkey dude run a little bit faster. ...level experience featuring various environments such as forests, villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or Ooh, five like types of enemies waiting for players along the way. Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single strike. Ooh, look at There's this different cow outfit on the main character. There's also a path in the level that players might not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss, the Poisonous King. This creature has the appearance of a scorpion-like monster. Damn, this shit is After awesome looking. engaging in conversation with it, players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden boss presents the highest level of difficulty in this trial version. It possesses extremely fast attacks, deals heavy damage, and boasts skills that inflict poison on the player. It took me nearly an hour of fighting to defeat it, and there were several instances where I succumbed to- That's normal. Right, that ain't that bad. An hour of fighting for like a difficult boss? That's, a, that's just a good boss fight is what it is. Poison before being able to use the cure potion in time. And while Black Myth shares some similarities in its mechanics with the Dark Souls series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, this distinction arises from the fact that, in other Souls-like games, players typically wielded weapons like swords or axes, with the grip at the weapon's end during combat. However, in Black Myth Wukong, the main weapon is a staff, primarily held in the middle. The grip on the staff changes according to different moves, creating a varied rhythm and action, even changing the length of the staff in combat. The impact feedback from the staff striking enemies Almost like is quite based. distinctive as well. Coupled with the support from the spell system during combat, Black Myth Wukong stands apart as an action RPG with a unique feel, differentiating itself from other AR RPG and action games that have come before. Yeah, I it, it you feel Neo, right? Neo, one hundred percent. Like the, that whole description that he is describing is, I'm like, that's Neo. In Neo games, the combat's amazing. Like, goddamn, the combat's so good. And the only problem in some of the Neo games is when you have to fight large scale in, especially Neo One, big monster enemies. It's vice versa. In Souls games, big monster enemies are like really dope and some great spectacle, good utilization of everything, right? However, in Neo, the combat's really good against other enemies that are like you, right? Other enemies that are human-like in some way that execute that stuff. You get this great one-on-one -on -one shit going on. However, in, in Neo, some of the bigger monster enemies were terrible. 
Like, I remember them being absolutely like, this shit sucks, dude. This shit is a friggin' nightmare. Unless the, unless the enemy was of, like, equal size to you, it was really bad in a lot of the Neo games. But when those moments did happen, you got those equal size enemies, it was super fun. Ultimately, despite developer Game Science providing a substantial amount of gameplay content in this trial ver- How'd I feel about Wolong? The exact same way I felt about Neo in the end. I felt the exact same way about it. It was... It had some issues, man, unfortunately. There are still numerous questions waiting to be answered. For example, whether the protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like, and how many transformations and spells are available. <laughs> fire Giant? If we were talking Fire Giant Elden Ring? Yes, that fight sucks, because he's too big. There, there is, there is fights where the fight can be too big, for sure. And I think that's a good example of it. All of these questions can only be answered once the game is finally released. Speaking of which, Black Myth Wukong is currently scheduled for release in the summer of 2024 for both PC and next generation con- This game is still a year out, brother. <laughs> brother. We still got an entire year before Black Myth Wukong eventually makes its way out.